Hey, what's going on, boxers? This is Zach Rizzo with Build Box. I got another quick pro tip for you right now, and let me show you what it is. So what I'm gonna show you in this video is how to make a score label that is a distance meter, and it has a nice slow cadence, a nice slow count, okay? So I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. Now, first thing you're gonna wanna do is go into your world UI and add in a label, okay? So you wanna go over here to the menus over here on the left, and select labels and grab default font and then toss it in, okay? So this is the label that I have set up here and this is the way you wanna set the properties, okay? The function type is set to score, the world type is set to current world, score type is distance, amount is current, and alignment I have a center, and then I chose default font. And then I also click stick to edge, which is also another great tip because it references the label. It takes a reference from the edge of the screen instead of the center of the UI. So it's going to be in that spot no matter what how big the screen size is. So you wanna have stick to edge if you wanna work with different screen dimensions, okay? So that's another good one to remember. Now. When you have a distance meter, normally when you have your world set up, it's going to have a score multiplier of one. Okay, right now I've got it set to 0 0.002. But I want you to see, this is the way it's normally set up when you first open up a template, all right? And what's gonna happen is the dis distance is just gonna go brrrr really, really fast. Okay, so let me show you real fast what that looks like. Okay, so you can see here that the distance meter is just going crazy, all right, which is not usually what people want. A lot of people would rather have like a nice slow count. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the score multiplier back to 0 0.002 and that's it, all right? That's going to be the amount that I need to set it to to have the nice low and slow cadence that I want. Now. Um, you may need to change it around a little bit for your game depending on how fast your character is moving But you can see from here that it works perfectly with mine. Okay, one one thousand two one thousand three one thousand It's like a normal counter. Okay, so this is the type of thing that a lot of you have been wanting and are curious to know how it works So I thought I'd just quickly show you how to do that. All right I hope you thought this video was useful and if you want to see more videos like this Then please like this video and subscribe to our channel. All right. Thanks boxers like and subscribe.